we have to solve for x using the quadratic formula. Now, if the quadratic formula is new to you, uh, in grade 11 it's a brand new concept, then let me quickly write out the formula. All right, and let me quickly show you how it works. You always want the one side to be equal to zero. Once that is true, then the number that is in front of x squared, which is a one in this case, that'll always be a. So a is always in front of x squared. b is in front of x. So b would be minus three. You must include the negative if there is one. And then c will be the other number which is negative 7. Okay, and then what you do is you just go fill that into the formula. So x equals 2, then the formula says minus. Now look at b, it's minus 3, so you put a minus 3. Then there's a plus minus. Now go in brackets for this one, and that's going to be minus 3 squared minus 4. Now the formula says a comes next, which is 1 and then c, which is minus 7, like that. And then at the bottom, it's 2 multiplied by a, which is 1. There we go. So look how I've used brackets wherever I used a, b, and c. If you can follow that, you'll get this correct every single time. Now, some of you watching this might be like, uh, Kevin, my calculator doesn't have a plus and a minus at the same time. Um, neither does mine, but luckily, we don't have to do it uh, at the same time. What you want to do is you want to use plus, so let's use a plus first. So I want you to go type all of this on your calculator, but by using a plus over there. And so I think I'll do this with you guys for now. So um, the formula starts with a minus, and then you put a bracket, then it's minus three. Then we're just gonna use a plus for now. Then there's a square root, then there's brackets, minus three, close the bracket, minus four, bracket, one, Oh, I think that minus uh, 7 is a little bit off your guys' page, but you guys know what's meant to be there. Sorry about that. So it's minus 7. And then at the bottom, we just have a 2 bracket times by 1. It's as easy as that, guys. I just followed the formula, and then I say equals, and then I push SD, and there's my answer to two decimal places. So it's 4.54. Just remember that. I'm not going to write it down just yet. Then what I do is I go backspace, 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 backspace on my calculator 100 times. And then I change this one to a minus, and then I push equals, and there's my next answer, minus 1.54. And so guys, our two answers that we found were five point, I mean 4.54, and then the other one was negative 1.54.